first, he's preparing some natural snacks, not only to feed the monkeys, but also develop their problem-solving skills for their return to the wild. The kind of animal that will be searching for food into the forest, it's important for them to learn how to look, search for food mainly. They love it because it's something new, so it makes their imagination go farther. So now, time to fill up this little surprise box for the monkeys. It's like a piñata, you know, the piñata, you hit it, and the candy is all over. Dexter seals the box. The monkey's first challenge will be breaking in. Welcome inside the monkey home. This is where all the craziness happens right here. Hola, <laughs> monkey. All of the rescued monkeys in this troop are recovering from a traumatic start in life. In the wild, different species wouldn't normally mix, but here, they've pulled together to form a troop similar to any other. They're highly inquisitive and social. And they're soon working together to break into the box. But it's not a free-for-all. There's a strict hierarchy. Finding his place in this complicated troop will be Santino's biggest challenge. The big one right here, this is Nerea. This is a spider monkey. Look how smart she is. She knows there's something inside there, and she just keep on looking and looking and looking. Nerea is the biggest spider monkey we have here in the center. She knows she's the strongest, so she do whatever she wants. It's like an alpha. In the wild, an alpha monkey protects and rules over the others. In many species, it's the strongest male. But in this unusual troop, female Norea has taken on the role. There's no other big monkeys, no alpha males around here that control her, so she's the one that makes sure um, she gets the, the first share. Next in the hierarchy are the white-faced capuchins. They have one of the largest brains relative to their size of any monkey and use their intelligence to hunt insects and even small mammals in the wild. One of the smartest things they do is that they get together as a group and go and chase things down to try to find food. Oh, oh, so I want to find something. At the bottom of the pecking order are the howler monkeys like Santino. These gentle leaf eaters have a low energy diet and live life at a slower pace. But they could be Santino's greatest allies. Whatever the species, it's important to keep these monkeys stimulated. Bubbles are a brand new experience for curious minds. That's the funniest thing here, that they're just like a little kid. This is the fun part of the monkey therapy. 